when a crisis hits, my tendency might be as a leader to want to jump in, or what I perceive as a crisis, to jump in and solve the problem. Right? It needs to be done, and of course it needs me as the expert to weigh in and solve that. But what ends up happening, I believe, is that I'm going into the operational role or the tactical planning role instead of delegating and maintaining my strategic or visionary purview. This, I believe, is a symptom of organizations that are in, uh, in a decline mode, if you can't kick that habit, but I think it is pervasive today. Do you see this? Is this something you observe or observe with your clients? And if so, what, what's, what's the way to get out of that trap? So I think the first answer is yes. <laughs> we see this a lot in our clients, and I'd say it's the norm more often than not, particularly senior level teams are working at least one or two levels down of where they should be working. Mm -hmm. So a lot more operational, even tactical efforts. And so, and this is happening for individual leaders. They'll say, gosh, I spend so much of my time doing operational work or tactical work. And then also the team's time, this precious team time where they're actually together in a meeting and they're spending it doing operational work or figuring out lower level tactics. And I know you've seen that as well, Alexander. Yeah. So. We call this types of work, and we look at four different types of work, visionary, strategic, operational, and tactical. And those types of work differ by their horizon perspective, the intensity, the depth, the breadth. And there's a rule of thumb that says, the higher level the team is, probably the more strategic and visionary work it should be doing, and the less operational and tactical. And the lower level the team is, probably the more tactical and operational work it should be doing, the less visionary strategic. What we find is that oftentimes teams at the top are in deeply invested in tactical and operational work. And they're not doing enough strategic and visionary. And what it does is it creates a frustration in the membership because they know they should be focusing on more strategic and visionary elements. And instead, they're focusing on tactics, tactical pieces that don't make any sense. And so the members become frustrated, saying, what am I doing here? This is stuff we should be doing outside the team. We're not having the right conversations. I don't want to be here. And it creates a, a bit of dysfunction in the way that the team can actually get work done. Yeah, I see that challenge is twofold. One is the teams who serve those leaders who are eager to actually help move the organization forward and mobilize and be a part of solutioning and competitive advantage don't get that sense of fulfillment and leaders themselves who aren't delegating or are capable of coaching organizations to, to achieve in that state feel weighed down by the burden of the day-to-day. -day. It's true, you know, here's a quick example just recently with the team. They were working through a process by which to improve uh, a, a way to actually fund projects. And one of the team members, this is the top team, brought in the issue to work on. And the team went right to work on the steps on how to create a methodology to improve this. And one of the members said, we are too, we are in the weeds, my friends. Let's pull back. And what they did instead is they set a set of principles that would guide the methodology. The principles appeared to them to be more strategic. They would then send those principles around the organization for the methodology locally. And when they did that work, they all took a side sort of a breath of relief saying that was more strategic. We're not here to construct steps. We're here to lay out the governance principles of the process. Let's let our teams do the work. That's a team that has over time learned to differentiate between operational work and strategic work. And I think the key is that in the moment awareness, that first getting aware of that distinction of the mm. types of work we want to be doing, need to be doing, and what we're actually doing, and then being able to notice when you do habitually get into the weeds, when you take that step from, all right, what should be done to, all right, let's look at the steps to do it, for somebody to say, wait a minute, we're going back down, let's pull it back up. Right, break the pattern. Yeah.